We gotta have our beauty sleep. <laughs> we do, we do. Um, but we are looking at that radar um, some right now. But um, yeah, and I did want to start out because I'm kind of in the space world oh, now. Is yes. those images that we've uh, had? We got from, some more of them, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, so we had a few come in yesterday, and just absolutely amazing. Some of these, of course, I'm sure you've seen them. But just in case you haven't, uh, this is uh, the nebula. So we have that with that blue and that orange. So just some of these colors are so vivid. I could just look off into space forever and not just kind of zoning out, but to actually enjoy the great looks that we have in just these images. Very telling and also just mind blowing all at the same time. But coming back to Earth, coming back to home, you're gonna find outside here on our Fifth Third Bank Camp that we have some sun, but those clouds, they are starting to thicken a little bit, kind of a milky look overhead, but we still have dry weather here for now, but we do have some rainfall that's trying to sneak in towards our north. So Southeast Michigan, you're gonna see that first chance at some rainfall. The green that we have here, that's just a little bit of return that our radar's picking up. The rain that's actually making it towards the surface is here in Lenawee County, so it's just along this line so we're going to be seeing that south of 12 that heavier downpour and then riding along 223 there so adrian you're going to have that rainfall pushing on through i'm not seeing anything crazy heavy from this or anything severe but our rain chances will be here they'll be scattered at times i do though anticipate with the heat of the afternoon that we will see more downpours so we'll have that before your evening commute but that will still be lingering around for us overnight though conditions start to dry out and by Thursday morning, though hour by hour forecast tries to keep a little bit of green in, we will have dry air moving in, so it will be a sunny and mild Thursday. So the forecast is going to be fairly quiet as we wrap up our work week. Our temperatures outside right now, those are sitting into the upper 60s, but mainly most of us are working our way into those lower 70s. And your full forecast is going to have more July heat to come, but at least with the dry weather we have coming our way tomorrow and Friday, temperatures will be comfortable into the lower 80s. But we do have 89 on Saturday, 88 on Sunday, but we are watching for some storms as we head into the new calendar week. We'll have that all the way into Tuesday, a chance for some rainfall. And here's that July heat highs will be in the upper 80s, even flirting with those 90s by next Wednesday.